Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Saturday, uh, the 26th of March, and uh, we're on the uh, cusp of the fourth Sunday of Lent, the, uh, the, the weekend that we wear the rose-colored vestments, and uh, so looking forward always to, to that. Need a rose-colored dalmatic. We don't have that. I just have the stole. Uh, but we're working on finding one that's reversible with the violet on one side and then reverse it and have it uh, rose. So we have that uh, for all of us to wear uh, on this uh, this week. So that's uh, something on my bucket list to try to try to acquire. Now, we went long yesterday because of the consecration to our Blessed Mother, and that's a good thing. So tonight uh, be a little bit. Uh, briefer uh, time in our uh, with our evening prayer. Our scripture today, the gospel, uh, reminds us about humility once again. Uh, Jesus talking about how uh, some people like to puff themselves up and and look haughty and proud and everything and and look down their noses at other people, while other people are more humble and and uh, understand their faults and and uh, weaknesses you know, we all need god you know but some people have this uh, notion of self-righteousness and uh, that's never a healthy uh, stance to take we always can improve we always can uh, deepen uh, our relationship with god get closer to him and understand always that he's god and we're not and we need him we need his help and uh, we can't stand on our own uh, it's always what can get us into big trouble in the spiritual sense so let us pray today asking god to uh, to help us help us in our lowliness lift us up so that we can draw closer to your you and your love let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go to God's house with rejoicing. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem, pray. Peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you rose from the dead, Lord Jesus, you formed the church into your new body and made of it the new Jerusalem, united in your spirit. Give us peace in our day. Make all nations come to your church to share in your gifts and fellowship, that they may render you thanks without end and come to your eternal city. Let us go to God's house with rejoicing. Awake from your sleep, rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? but with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak in Israel on the Lord, because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Listen with compassion to our prayers, Lord. The forgiveness of sins is yours. Do not look on the wrong we have done, but grant us your merciful kindness. Awake from your sleep, rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. So great was God's love for us that when we were dead because of our sins, he brought us back to life in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself take, and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So great was God's love for us, that when we were dead because of our sins, he brought us to life in Christ Jesus. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. We beg you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. On a day of salvation, I have helped you. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. We avoid giving anyone offense so that our ministry may not be blamed. On the contrary, in all that we do, we strive to present ourselves as ministers of God. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Christ Jesus, hear our humble petitions, for we have sinned against you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son to save all who have faith in him, and to give them eternal life. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God loved the world so much, that he gave his only Son to save all who have faith in him and to give them eternal life. Let us give glory to God who has concern for us all. Let us call upon him and say, Lord, save the people you have redeemed. Giver of all gifts and source of all truth, give the fullness of your blessing to the College of Bishops and keep all those entrusted to their care faithful to the teaching of the Apostles. Lord, save the people you have redeemed. Pour your love into the hearts of all who share the one bread of life, that they may grow in unity in the body of your Son. Lord, save the people you have redeemed. Help us to strip off our sinful selves and to be clothed with Christ, your Son, the new Adam. Lord, save the people you have redeemed. Grant that all who do penance find forgiveness and so share in the fruits of Christ's redeeming death. Lord, save the people you have redeemed. May those who have died in your peace 
give you everlasting glory in heaven, where we too hope to praise you forever. Lord, save the people you have redeemed. Let us conclude our prayer with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father of peace, we are joyful in your word, your Son, Jesus Christ, who reconciles us to you. Let us hasten towards Easter with the eagerness of faith and love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. For blessed Sunday, everyone, tomorrow, the fourth Sunday of Lent, and I will see you then. God bless.